Hello stars, welcome to another practical video. In this video, we want to learn more about these 7 segment display modules. The first time I tried to use this module, it didn't work well, but I recently found out the reason in the FM radio project, and now I'm sharing my experience with you. So stay with me until the end of the video. If you look at the back of this module, you will see 4 pins, 2 of which are for power supply, and must be connected to 5 volts. This module also has a data pin and a clock pin, which indicates the presence of an I2C interface. Some websites share this circuit diagram, which as you can see doesn't use the default I2C Arduino pins. It will not be a problem, but I prefer to use the default pins. The default pins on the Arduino are A4 and A5, which I will explain how to program later on. But let me show you the circuit diagram that I am going to use. In this video, we will use this diagram. As you can see, I use the default pins on the Arduino. This program is written to test this module, its link is inside the description and you can use it. After defining the default pins for the module, the number 1 is first displayed for 3 seconds. Then a random number with a colon, and finally, the words play and stop. Now the circuit is ready. I had to place the module this way because I didn't want to solder any wires to its pins. Let's see the result. As you can see, the 7 segment module test program is working and can even display some English letters. But to display some symbols, you have to define them yourself. For example, this program uses the DHT11 sensor to display temperature information on a 7 segment. Well, as you can see, the temperature is first displayed at degrees Celsius and then at degrees Fahrenheit after 2 seconds. The resources for this project are in the description and you can check them out. Here I have two 7 segment modules, one of which has not worked since I bought it, you can see in the FM radio project that this module really bothered me. I also removed the display of the other module, I will explain later why I did this. The interesting thing I did is that I replaced the chip of this module with this module, which finally made the module work. Let me show you the result. I am really happy that I have two modules, one of which was healthy and the other I repaired. Now we need to see if we can turn on both displays at the same time. In the Nixie clock project, I said that the only way to extend the I2C interface is to use the TCE9548 multiplexer module. Let me prepare the circuit so that we can see the result. But I want you to like the video if you have found it useful so far, and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button. Well, unfortunately using the multiplexer module didn't help and I think I need to connect both displays directly to the Arduino. In this program, two classes are defined. With the help of which one displays the temperature and the other displays the humidity level. After some research into the library of this module, I finally found what I was looking for. The link to these datasheets is in the description and you can check them out. One shows the temperature in Celsius and the other shows the humidity in percent, where the letter P stands for percent. I hold my finger in front of the sensor to increase the humidity level. You can see it's working. Do you remember when I told you I removed the display from one of the modules? Let me tell you why, but before that. This video is sponsored by PCBWay a leading company in the production of various types of PCBs, including Flex and the Rigid Flex PCBs, and even UV printing technology. They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding services. You can place your projects online and they ship worldwide within 24 hours. For more information go to their website which is specified in the description. They have been supporting this channel for over a year. Thanks to them. Recently, my employer asked me to build a short-range digital transceiver so that the transmitter would display the desired number on a 7-segment display. My employer said that the displays on these modules are small, and I should use medium-sized ones. If you read the datasheet of this module, you will see that its display is a common anode. So, 
I ordered a medium-sized four-digit common anode 7 segment and soldered it in place of the small display on the module. I uploaded the 7 segment module test program to Arduino and it worked happily. Now my transmitter is ready. So does this mean that this module can drive all sizes of 7 segment? This module definitely cannot drive 12 volt 7 segments. To drive large 7 segments you definitely need intermediate circuits which I am not going to explain in this video because the video will be too long. If the number of likes for this video is high, I will make a video about the intermediate circuit as well. Thanks for watching.